I started seeing a doctor in my 50s every year for an annual physical. Part of the annual physical was a PSA test. The tests were always fine, they were always 1.2, 1.3, and then maybe three and a half years ago, it jumped up to four. And my doctor said, you really should get a biopsy. Five days later, I received a phone call that I was clear I did not have cancer. But he said, I would like you to come back in four months and we'll run another PSA test. Well, we did that and the PSA test results were a seven. So I was really kind of stunned, you know, what's going on? So at this juncture, he said, you know, Bill, I studied your charts and every man's prostate enlarges as it gets your age. So this isn't to worry about. And I think I accepted it because it was what I wanted to hear. So we went along on this path for three years with my sevens, and then all of a sudden I got a nine. So I went back to my general practitioner and I said, I would like to have a second opinion. So I went in and met with the doctor and he said, well, have you ever thought about having an MRI of your prostate? So I said, fine. So I got into his office and he was running behind and he just said, well, we have to do a biopsy. And I said, well, what, what about the MRI? And he said, well, the first date I have is nine weeks from now. And I just said, I'm not doing this. I'm out of here. So I talked to my family, my wife and three daughters, and one of them said she spoke to somebody in her office and the best place to go is Stanford. You can go ahead and step down. Mr. Armstrong came to us with a very high PSA and a concern for prostate cancer, and he had received an MRI locally. At that time, he was offered a standard biopsy, and I think he wanted to explore his options with regards to what could be done next. So I met with Dr. Chung, and I said, did you uh, look at my MRI? Is my prostate healthy or is it not? He says, you can't tell that from an MRI. So then I said, wait a minute, let me ask you another question. Does the size of the prostate have anything to do with your PSA results? She says, no. So I've been three years with this seven, and I was saying, oh my Lord, I was so naive. He says, I'm very glad you got the MRI. We have a new procedure now, it's an MRI-guided biopsy. It's much more accurate, it's more thorough. And he says, oh, we'll do it next week. Doing the MRI-guided biopsy, even though it was more stressful, is, is worth it. It was a lot longer and a little tougher test than the regular biopsy. But you felt better because you know that he covered the field. We found that he had several areas of cancer within his prostate, and, and some of which were what I would call intermediate to high risk. So I gave him the options and he chose surgery, robotic surgery. This is a very safe method of doing this type of procedure with the additional benefits of the uh, diminished uh, recovery time, diminished pain, and uh, improvement in uh, blood loss uh, outcome. It looks fantastic. So. His surgery went extremely smoothly. He did very, very well um, post-operatively. After I saw the pathology report, I was glad I did the most aggressive thing. It was right up against your prostate wall. He said, it might be three years or five years, but that would have gone through the wall and you would have bone cancer. I just was so impressed with Stanford. It was a first class experience. It's been less than three months and I'm back to full life and have been for maybe three weeks. I did get a new PSA result back yesterday and it was clear, it was clean, it was zero. So I am cancer free, I'm very happy.